Uh, so for this, the touch controls are pretty intuitive. Uh, with two fingers, you can pull and drag in to zoom in, whether that's on like a drawing tablet or with a touchscreen laptop, which is what I do. Um, the, the rotation with the, the zooming in is new feature from what I had previously known as well. Uh, but yeah, um, you can also control this with the navigation bar. Uh, there's uh, zoom in, zoom out. Uh, you can rotate to the to the left and to the right. And to reset to default, you just hit this uh, refresh button, which just centers it back on, like uh, straight on. And it doesn't affect like the zoom or anything. It just puts it back on a even horizontal plane. Uh, this last one to the right flips it horizontally. Uh, this is good for like drawing faces or checking uh, proportions in an illustration to make sure it looks right from both directions. It's, it's a good way to check yourself. So for this I might actually use a, a special tool. So there's a specific brush mode that will uh, function in just straight lines. So to get that, um, you have to include the, check the, the box next to shape. I, I think line mode is the right one. You just drag and drop and it will put down a line like what you want, but this is a little bit bigger than I want it. So I will um, go down to brush controls and uh, shrink the width of the brush that I'm using. And that gives you a very nice straight line. So say uh, while you're doing this, you make a mistake or you put a line where you don't want it to. Uh, like most other art programs, there's an undo button. Uh, this is in the top left corner. Uh, you press the back arrow and it takes you back as many as you want. And there's also the redo button, which takes you forward a bunch. Uh, there's also the eraser tool, which is right under the brush tool on the bar to the left. And so if you want to erase, then you can do so. Uh, since I'm still on uh, line mode uh, with a check mark next to shape, it automatically keeps you in that mode. But if you want to just freehand it, you have to uncheck that box. And that will allow you to erase whatever you want. Say if you want to change the position of something you placed on there, uh, there's a lasso tool, kind of like in Photoshop. It's also called the select tool. I uh, There's a square select tool, so it'll just select a square to whatever width uh, designated by the top and bottom corners that you drag to it. Um, uh, I personally like the freeform lasso tool. Uh, I use that a lot more often. So what I was going to do here was I was going to select on layer 2, my inking layer, this uh, triangle and move it over so that there isn't a tangent when I'm drawing the sides. Like a, a, a tangent from uh, this other crystal onto that one. So once you move it over you just hit OK in the bottom right corner, and that changes its position. You can just deselect once you're done. Also, when you're doing transform, uh, there's a couple of shortcuts. So when you select it, you can either use the keyboard shortcut Control T, uh, which will enable you into that move, or you can, uh, in the top, 
center, there's a transform button that does the same thing. There's also two other modes of transformation. Free transform allows you to pull at um, any of the axes uh, kind of like this, which is different. Uh, and there's also mesh transform, which puts a grid over the top that you can toggle any of these little dots to uh, change the shape and manipulate it however you want. You can also use the selection tool to delete things in your drawing. So if you um, have just a portion of it that you wanted to select and just get rid of, uh, uh, you can draw around what you want to delete. Uh, and then uh, you hit the delete button on the keyboard and that will get rid of it for you. So I can do this again. And once you're done with the inking layer, you can just toggle the sketch layer underneath it off, and that's your clean ink. I'm going to move on and ink the other illustration that I was doing next. So you can transform an entire layer without using the selection tool. You just um, select the layer that you wish to transform and hit Control T or um, up in the select menu, uh, go to transform. So something that the, uh, the line tool for brush settings doesn't give you, uh, it doesn't give you line weight variation. So like uh, when you have this checked, the only thing you can do is like an even thickness straight line. But if you have it unchecked, then the pressure sensitivity of your um, stylus uh, will give you subtle line weight variations so that it tapers on either end. Um, some brushes don't have the tapering ability, but uh, what I'm using is just the default pen, pen setting that comes with uh, Fire Alpaca, which uh, by default does taper. And you can adjust this via the brush settings uh, which is just the little gear icon next to the uh, the pen under brush settings and uh, that setting is size by pressure so if this is untoggled then it will be uh, an even width no matter how hard you're pressing on this screen but i like to keep it with the tapered it makes drawings uh, with organic shapes a little bit more dynamic in my opinion Another setting I might want to mention is the stabilizer on brush settings. I have mine set to 29 because uh, sometimes you're drawing, you have a shaky hand, uh, and that just kind of smooths it out, adds a little bit of like lag to the brush so that it isn't uh, reacting to every single movement of the hand. This is it with it turned off uh, versus, say, even just like a setting of 10, it's so much smoother. Uh, since the work I'm doing is a little bit more graphical, I like to keep it set up higher so the lines you get are a lot, a lot smoother. One suggestion I would make when inking things is to be quick with the way you're drawing your lines because the longer you just spend uh, daily dallying trying to make a straight line the more wiggly it's going to get versus uh, a straight line that uh, it tapers nicely it uh, flows nicely especially when you're just going fast just make sure that it's uh, uh it's, it's something to worth practicing 